we got into a car crash. Uh, we were driving down an icy, icy road and the car started sliding. And when I flew from the passenger seat into the driver's seat, um, my life flashed before my eyes. And what I saw, I wasn't happy about. My name is Andre Sufchik. I was born into a Christian family. I was raised by Christian parents. But along the lines, um, my path kind of wandered off. As I was about 16 years old, I got introduced to a marijuana. I started looking to marijuana as something to numb my pain, something to, to kind of get me out of this world. I thought that I was uh, treated very unfairly by my parents because my siblings got all the attention that I thought I, I deserved some too, but it was just one of those things that the enemy tried to come against me and tried to destroy me, and it worked. And it was uh, about after I graduated high school, I, I got into modeling, and I thought, you know, that that would fill the gap. I thought that that would fill the void inside, you know, the acceptance from, you know, peers and people who would look up to me. But it only made it deeper. I thought that, you know, I would get this fame, this glory, but, you know, it's still inside there was emptiness. Still inside, I was looking for something that would fill that pain something that would fill that rejection, something that would be someone that would accept me for who I was. And it wasn't it wasn't long until heavier drugs found me. It wasn't long until alcohol consumption started becoming higher and higher. And you know, DUI followed after that. And I was thinking, you know, this is this life is pathetic. This life is worthless. The the life I live, I mean it's not the life I wanted. Before I'd go to sleep, I would have to smoke or drink. And that's not who I was, because you know I wanted to be happy, I wanted to be loved. Um, and it wasn't until after the car accident, you know, after I made that promise to God, you know, I was going to change my ways. And just afterwards, I got home and I smoked weed again. I was thinking, you know, oh, coincidence that you know I got out alive, yay me, I'm lucky. But deep down inside, it was no longer the same feeling I got. It was no longer that high I was looking for. And that night, I laid in my bed, and I, I cried out to God. I, For the first time, I actually cried out to God. And I said, God, I don't want this anymore. I don't need this, this, you know, destroying my life. And just the still voice inside, inside my head was saying that, you know, give it to me. And I, I didn't understand because, you know, to me, I always thought that you have to be perfect. You have to, you know, straighten your life out. You have to, you know, follow the Ten Commandments, live holy, live righteous. But the still voice just said, give it to me. I took that punishment. I took that pain. I took that rejection. I took that shame on the cross and I hung it there. And it stayed there. So why are you carrying it? And to me, it sunk so deep. I cried that night. It was just for almost no reason. But deep down inside, I knew that God was working on my heart. And not too long afterwards, God set me free completely from smoking marijuana. God set me free from drinking alcohol to access. I started going to church. I started becoming an active member in the church. I started reading my Bible daily, praying daily, seeing what God has in store for me, seeing what God has placed in His Word so I could learn. The only regret I have is that I didn't do this sooner because my life is a complete change. Even though the journey is hard, but I know I can overcome. I know that there's greater power that lives inside me that helps me overcome all the challenges in my life.